I'm Jessica Wellman, and this is your LSR News Blast. Tensions were high heading into Thursday's oral arguments in New Hampshire Lottery's lawsuit against the new DOJ Wire Act opinion. Turns out we likely sent our blood pressure through the roof over nothing. Online Poker Report's Eric Ramsey was in Concord for the court proceedings. If you want to read his great deep dive, click the link in the description below. If you want the cliff notes, though, we've got you covered right here. The biggest takeaway from Thursday's proceedings is that those on the side of the lottery and online gambling should feel optimistic. Presiding Judge Paul Barbadoro did not issue a ruling on the case, but over the course of a couple hours of oral arguments, he had some issues with what the DOJ presented. That memo submitted Monday claiming the DOJ still wasn't sure how the lottery relates to the Wire Act? That did not go over well with Judge Barbadoro. While some thought it could get the case dismissed, he noted there isn't much difference in New Hampshire Lottery and its vendor Neo Pollard believing the DOJ could shut them down under this new opinion, or that the DOJ could shut them down after another new opinion. So we can pretty safely say the suit's not getting thrown out based on the memo. While the memo issue seems to be effectively settled, when it comes to the case itself, there was no concrete outcome. Barbadoro seemed responsive to New Hampshire's arguments, however, he has some things to look over and read regarding precedent before rendering a judgment. Even after Barbadoro makes a decision, that could just be the start of the legal battle. The judge hinted this case was likely destined for the Supreme Court. What does this mean for states with existing online casino and sports betting? Provides comfort to New Jersey to keep online gambling up and running. It also gives Pennsylvania some reassurance that launching won't be all for naught. For other states considering sports betting, though, the lack of a decision could be the tipping point for some to punt until 2020 when the law is a little clearer.